Hey everyone, welcome back. So thank all of you who responded to my previous couple of episodes regarding to fine tune your own large language model. So one of the audience is interesting to see if it's possible to save the model and load the model back into the Python environment locally, meaning that it doesn't require the cloud, doesn't require hugging face or AWS, things like that. I thought that was an interesting question. So when I was doing research on that question, originally, I thought that, hey, I have to go to Hugging Face and look at the JSON file, look at the model artifact, right? And whatever the configuration file there is, that's all being uploaded to the cloud, I better be able to get that down locally somehow and then load it back to the Python environment. So it could be very painful. But fortunately, Hugging Face and as well as the Transformer library give you these nice functions for you to do that actually with uh, pretty much one line, two lines of code. So in this video, I want to walk you guys to how to do that, specifically to load and save the model locally. So with that being said, let's turn our attention to the screen. So right in front of me, I have a CoLab notebook open. I will drop the link in the bottom of the YouTube video uh, when it's posted. So let's start with some sort of model that you want to use, right? So I'm starting with a clean slate. I'm hitting the reconnect. And uh, I'm going to show you guys that I am on a free version, the CPU, right? It's not some fancy GPU. So you can pretty much do this locally. Uh, anybody can do this. So you start off with usual runtime. I just connected and I have to run the transformer library. So I'm just going to pick a model called sentiment analysis. I'm going to uh, grab that model. It's going to download the artifact and then load that in using the pipeline function. Uh, boom, that's done. Now I'm going to make an inference, right? It's a sentiment analysis. So I better write some sentence that's giving you something, right? Let's say I love computer science. Uh, obviously, whoever said that is probably happy at the time that he said that. So we run that inference and it's going to give you some sort of output. I already processed that in this nice uh, three lines uh, format. So that's a prompt. That's a sentiment. It says positive. And then uh, there's some sort of a score. Uh, 0 0.99998, right? So uh, that means uh, this model here, uh, sentiment analysis model, believes that uh, whoever said this sentence here in the prompt, right, is indeed happy, right? It's a positive. So that's what that means. Now you have this model, right? It's fine-tuned or wherever you got it, it's there. It's in this Python notebook environment right now. But you want to save this locally, right? So the way you do it is you actually want to save a tokenizer with the model together. Now, what I mean by that is the tokenizer actually come with the model, right? Uh, Bert has a tokenizer. Uh, this tail Bert has a tokenizer. Uh, the model has its own variation. Uh, the tokenizer probably has a little bit of difference as well. What is tokenizer? Tokenizer is the artifact that process the text into numbers format, into numericals format, such that the machines can read it. Now that's essentially what a tokenizer is. And here specifically, I type this out. Are tokenizers dependent of the model? Uh, the answer is actually uh, yes. Uh, it is dependent to the model. Uh, therefore, uh, every model that you saved, every artifact that you save locally, uh, there better be a matching tokenizer along with the model. So that's kind of like a long answer to explain literally just two lines of code down here, which is what I'm highlighting on my screen. So I'm going to run that code. And what this effectively is going to do is it's going to grab this model, right? It's uh, at that line of code. It's sitting in this pipeline artifact. And then I'm going to create a directory, whatever that is, right? My XYZ model by pipeline. That's the name of the directory. If I run this code and I go to my files, you're going to see this folder popping out. That's the folder that's been created after I save the model locally. And when I save the model, I'm going to save two things, two lines of code. One is model and the other one is tokenizer. And you need both of them. So after you do that, everything about that model, right, about the sentiment analysis model is now in this directory, my XYZ model by pipeline. And this will physically create that directory, that folder in the same environment of wherever you are running that CoLab notebook. Now, uh, here I'm running on CoLab, so it is saved in this temporary disk that 
Google Colab loan to you at that uh, 12 hour window or 24 hour window, uh, depending on what uh, pro version that you're subscribing to. Uh, but in your local computer, you will be running that in a folder uh, locally in Anaconda or locally uh, in the VS Code, wherever the directory is locally, that's where you're going to see that folder. Now, alternatively, if you don't like that, you want to save somewhere else, you can always use the OS package. You can say import OS, and then uh, you can essentially use os.changedir to navigate to other directory if you want to save that somewhere else. So that's a start, right? It's save model somewhere, save tokenizer somewhere. Those artifacts are now locally in the computer. So after you save it, uh, now you uh, obviously want to load back up, right? So I'm gonna skip this, it's just me playing around. Uh, let me go here to load the model from a local directory. So the directory obviously has to be uh, the same as wherever you saved it, right? Otherwise it doesn't know where to look for. So that directory obviously has to be the same. Uh, if your folder is called my XYZ model by pipeline, uh, here this name better be called the same name. And then you can use these two lines of code to loading the model as well as the tokenizer, uh, which is exactly uh, what I'm doing here. And then after that, you put them together using pipeline. And then you specify, ah, model, that's what you define, tokenizer, those are the artifacts that you define here in line five, as well as line six. Now, with that being said, I wanna run some tests in front of you guys uh, to really make sure this is the uh, robust and honest answer live on video. Uh, I'm creating a new name, right? Uh, this name uh, obviously hasn't existed before. I'm throwing in the same sentence. Uh, since it's the same model, it better give me the same answer, right? So that's the way that we know that this is done correctly. And then uh, this, since this is a new name, so the new name is uh, now uh, copied down here, pipe loaded by loading model directly. Uh, so I'm gonna run this. And then in the end, you guys see, I love computer science, that's a prompt. Uh, your sentiment is positive, and then your score is 0 0.9998. Uh, which is effectively the same answer as what we saw above. So there you go. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, it's really meant to be a quick video just to show you guys two lines of code to save model, save tokenizer, and then load them back into your Python environment. Uh, so this way you're able to do everything locally. So uh, hopefully this answers your question. Uh, thank you for asking that question. I think it's an interesting question. Right now, I think most people are doing everything on the cloud. Uh, not many people are doing this locally. Uh, so that's why I think uh, this is a great question because it really lacks discussion. So there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next episode.